Here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the uh, FGX is um, definitely underway here. Uh, you just pulled the balancer off, mate, and I think people will be a bit surprised. What what sort of puller kit is that? What does that say? A mighty balancer for an LS. Yes. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Two birds with one stone. So, guys. We're just uh, just doing all the valve springs now. Cams have to come out of here. As you can see, everything's sort of been removed. Um, the only thing left in this engine bay is really just the block, to be honest with you. On the head, yeah. And, but other than that, everything else is gone, as you can see, making way for the new stuff. So, Yui, um, what's the next few steps here when it comes to the valve springs? Uh, cams have got to come off, timing cover, some, because we're changing the oil pump and the gears, the oil pump gears and the, the backing plate. Uh, we're doing the valve springs, the head studs, and I'm just waiting so we can do the flex plate bolts and put the box back in. Fair enough. So guys, as you can see, a bit of a bit of a mission to get this all done that quickly. We uh, will have some more detail uh, coming up in the next uh, next ad break of uh, Yusuf doing the valve springs, but uh, we've got a special special modification happening for these um, beautiful beautiful billet. Yellow flex Terra plates. flex plates, yeah. Uh, we just uh, drilling the crank hopefully tonight and upsizing, upgrading the bolts. And, and uh, this car's actually getting an ATI balancer. If we can show everyone the ATI balancer, uh, Yusuf. Yeah. Now this product's been purchased from uh, Dynamite uh, Performance in Melbourne, um, fastest barrier in the world. This is a special kit that uh, Dynamite puts together. It's an ATI super dampener. That's the rubbish that was on there, and that's what's going on. So Yusuf, uh, we probably shouldn't have any harmonic issues, yeah? Hope not. Just <laughs> hope the, the four liter harmonics aren't too bad with this on there. <laughs> Fair enough. So ladies and gents, we'll keep, uh, keep you updated. So Yusuf, it's Sunday. There's about 300 millimeters of water outside. Uh, but you're dedicated to the cause, mate. What stage are we currently up to? Uh, we're just um, bracing the engine. About to drop the sump so we can pull the timing cover off and the oil pump. And then uh, we can go ahead and um, pull the cams and do the valve springs and what have you. Fair enough. So you said uh, a specific tool for that? Yeah, it's just the engine brace. We're bracing up the engine from the top. Right. So that we can drop the subframe to get the, the sump out. And obviously the gearbox is still out, yeah? Yeah, box is still out. Makes life a lot easier getting the sump off. Right. So once that's done, you, we put the oil pump gears in uh, and we can button up the back, load the box up and then we can focus on the top. That's exactly right. Thank you, mate. No let's, worries. Uh, we'll show you guys that. So Yusuf, we've just taken the uh, front timing cover off. Yep. What's the uh, what's the procedure now, mate? Uh, now we just get it all the marks top the center. Get the cams all right, start doing the chain, the cams. We can get the oil pump off so we can replace the gears and the um, backing plate. Fair enough. Thanks, mate. Just loosening up, are you? <laughs> all right, now, we know there's a million ways for you to do this, uh, Yusuf, but what we want to make sure is that people just understand that they have to take note of where the markings are from factory when it comes to this timing chain. Because you could be working for about three hours trying to find top dead centre like we've been a part of man in uh, other barrow situations but uh yusuf you've got a few tricks now are you going to tell the world your tricks it's pretty straightforward man you get the marks up there's a dot up here dot on each cam they pretty much have to face up if you look down here there's a little mark right here so you can see it on the mirror there's a little mark there when you reassemble it, there should be an orange link on the chain behind that. And then, 
There's a little indentation underneath as well on the on the crank gear. Not sure if you can see it, but that's where the bottom yellow mark goes. And then putting it back together, straightforward. Yellow two marks on top, the orange over here, and the yellow one down the bottom. So it's not rocket science. No, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, but people struggle with it, yeah? Yes, they sure do. Okay, so if they don't know that and it's their first time doing it because they're not a mechanic. Replacing the chain, some chains that you buy do not have these yellow marks or the orange marks on there. So you're best off putting your own marks on there and following it back to basics. And some people come with the cam gears, they've got adjustable cam gears. That all comes back down to your tune-up and uh, doing your cams as well. Right, fair enough. All right, ladies and gents, if you're unsure, there is documentation online, but you really just need a, a uh, white marker and to understand where your, uh, where your marks are if your timing chain doesn't have it. Done. Thanks, guys. So, Yusuf, uh, there seems to be a few contraptions here, mate. What's going on? I'm just doing the uh, valve springs to remove the locks. Here's one of the factory valve springs. So, Yusuf, apparently they they tend to not like uh, boost uh, levels and power levels over about 300 kilowatts. Is that right? Yeah, they they um, won't shut in time, and they the boost keeps them open. Right. So we upgrade them so that they can uh, work a lot better and more efficient with the boost. A set of uh, race series uh, valve springs and uh, retainers supplied by uh, Dion from Dynamite. So Yusuf, what does this, uh, I see there's a little bit of compressed air here. What does yes. that do? Uh, it keeps the valve up so it doesn't fall down and drop into the cylinder. Uh -huh. So you can do them on the car, but as you can see with our tool here. Yep. Uh, there's all different tools you can use. I like this one, so this is what I'm using. Fair enough, and you do that one by one? Yes. One cylinder at a time. One cylinder at a time. Thank you. Worst case, we'll pull the engine out to do the back ones. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we probably should have pulled the engine out. Oh, well, Yusuf. Best laid plans are... Sometimes it's easier to just uh, take the uh, longer road. Ah, uh, guys, it was getting a bit tough there, so Yui goes, oh, there's only two things holding this engine in, so we just pulled it out. Get things uh, buttoned up. Head studs done, oil pump gears done. We had Tony from uh, Speedy just come down and hang out. So Yusuf, what's the next step, man? Cams are in? Chain back on, we're just sitting everything on, just uh, roughly. He's himself, Mr. Speedy. He's awake. He's awake, he's come to visit Argyle. He's not, he's not a visitor here, mate. Fastest uh, Baron or Cortina at one point you were, mate. At one point. I said at one point. We need to reclaim it. You will. Things. Yusuf, are you just going to... Uh, Guess it here, or? Yeah, guess. <laughs> <laughs> then Jim can spend another three hours finding top dead center.
one week later, ladies and gentlemen.